uh, one can't let go the sense of um, frustration he experienced when he saw uh, the Yiddish school system declining and um, and Yiddish camping declining. The Jewish camping, there's Jewish camping, that's no issue, Jewish-centered camping. But he was very involved in what was called Camp Kinderwelt, which was the camp of the Farban, which was the, the fraternal organization of the labor Zionist movement. And he was the culture director, the culture director there for a number of years, and brought Yiddish studies in and Yiddish language. And camping was not just going to camp to have a good time, go swimming and, and work out on the basketball court or whatever you did, in, you know, or arts and crafts and that, all that wonderful stuff. But it was also an educational opportunity. And as he grew older, uh, don't forget he passed away, he was almost 94, 93, 94. He experienced that there was a sense of frustration on his part that a lot of this was ending and he was aware of it. And um, I wouldn't say anger, but a sense of sadness that was something that uh, I, I, you know, I was aware of. And, um, you know, and I, I think that, that that may have also been something that appeared in his writing later on, in his poetry, a sense of sadness at the passing of a, of a generation, of generations, and of an emphasis on language and so on. So um, that's my sense of him.